Hi, I'm Dr. Kay Culkin, founder at WIFH here in Atlanta, Georgia. And today we're going to talk about laser hair removal, but we're really going to focus on people who have darker skin types. Now, first of all, when we talk about skin types, notice I said types, not color, um, <clears throat> we have a scale of one to six. Skin type one is someone who is extremely light, very light skin, who really burns as soon as they go out under the sun. And type six is the other end of the spectrum, is a very dark skin type, um, <clears throat> who won't get uh, the effects of the sun as readily, but still has to use some protection. When we're doing laser hair removal on light skin types and dark skin types, we do them very differently. And we do them differently by using a different laser on darker skin than we would use on lighter skin. Now, over these last 16 years, we have done several hundred thousand procedures on both light and dark skin types, but it's the dark skin that we focus on today because the needs are different than light skin. And when you go someplace for laser hair removal on dark skin, they have to know what they're doing. That is so important. Um, at WIFH, we use a laser called a YAG laser. And the YAG laser is the safest laser for permanent hair reduction on dark skin types. And this, this laser is very interesting because while I'm tan right now from the uh, sun, the YAG laser would ignore the tan in my skin and it would go right after the hair follicle, causing the unwanted hair growth that we're trying to reduce. Now, <clears throat> I have patients that move from Atlanta all over the country and they'll call me up and they'll say, Jay, what do you think about my going to this place in Florida or this place in California? And one of the things that I look for is, do they feel the need to do a test pulse? We don't. Why don't we? because we know how to treat dark skin. When I see that a place wants to do a test pulse on someone with dark skin, it tells me they're just not as confident and comfortable. It would be like doing a test dose of penicillin on everybody that you were treating with penicillin, and obviously we don't do that. So when we do permanent hair reduction on dark skin, uh, we do a series of eight sessions. We come once every six weeks. We ask our patients to shave the area the night before or the day they come. And then they come in and do their laser session. Now, if we're doing hair on the face, it's actually very easy to do, but we want no makeup. So important. Makeup plus laser equals a blister. We don't want a blister. So, Makeup has to be off, off, off. We actually wipe with alcohol to make sure it's off. And then we do the procedure. Treating the face takes about five minutes. Bikini, underarms also, five or 10 minutes. Maybe full legs, about one hour. After the procedure, um, our patients may have a little bit of redness. They may have a little bit of hair follicle swelling. And talking about hair follicle swelling, let's talk about dark skin patients with ingrown hairs on the face, on the neck, uh, possibly bikini area or underarms. With the YAG laser, we are able to make those ingrowns go away. We're able to make the darker pigmentation reduce significantly. Notice I didn't say go away, but reduce significantly. So I, I think that when you're thinking about laser hair removal for dark skin, I want you to consider the experience of the place you're going to. Are they using a YAG laser? And other places may say to you, well, we're using the diode laser, a different laser, which can be used on dark skin. I agree it can, but it's riskier. We want to minimize any chance of problems. So you're looking for a place with experience, looking for a place with a YAG laser. And I think that done, Dark skin is just as safe as light skin for laser hair removal. So, I hope that this has been helpful for you. I think this is a really important topic. And as always, if there are any questions, contact us at WIFH. 
give us a call, come on in, we'll be happy to see you for consultation. And otherwise, hope you enjoy our continuing series. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.